Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded circle with the center O fully inscribed in a triangle ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, points uh, D, E and uh, F are the points of uh, tangency. And moreover, this segment uh, AD is 25 units whereas this segment uh, BF is uh, 26 uh, units and furthermore the area of this uh, green circle has been given to us uh, as 225 pi square units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we have been given the circle area as 225 pi and now we are going to calculate the radius of this green circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius of the circle and now we are going to compare these two equations so therefore i can write this one as pi r square equals to 225 times pi let's divide both sides by pi this pi and pi is gone likewise this pi and pi is gone as well so therefore r square turns out to be equal to 225 now let's undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore our radius r is going to be equal to 15 units so thus the radius of this green circle turns out to be 15 units and now let's recall the two tangent theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point then they are congruent as you can see in this given diagram here we got these points of tangency a and uh, B and as a result this segment uh, OA is going to be equal to this segment uh, OB so therefore in our case uh, this segment uh, AD is going to be equal to this segment uh, AE according to this given uh, theorem if this segment is 25 then this segment has got to be 25 units as well and likewise uh, this segment uh, BF uh, is going to be equal to this segment uh, BE if this segment is 26 uh, then this segment uh, has got to be 26 units uh, as well and now let's focus on this segment uh, CD let me label this segment as uh, X then this segment uh, CF uh, is going to be X units uh, as well according to this uh, two tangents uh, theorem and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, side length uh, a B is going to be the sum of these two segments uh, A E and E B let's add those numbers uh, 25 plus 26 is going to give us uh, 51 units likewise this side length uh, A C is going to be 25 uh, plus X so therefore uh, this side length uh, A C turns out to be 25 plus X and finally this side length uh, B C is going to be 26 uh, plus x that is going to give us uh, 26 uh, plus x and now let's recall the triangle area from uh, the end radius the area of the triangle is going to be equal to r times s where in our case our end radius uh, r is 15 where s uh, is the semi perimeter that means uh, a plus b plus c divided by 2 let me label uh, this side length of this uh, triangle as lowercase a this side lowercase b and this side uh, lowercase uh, c so therefore our a value is going to be 26 uh, plus x b value is 25 plus x and c value is going to be 51 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so our s value is going to be a in our case is uh, 26 uh, plus uh, x plus b value is 25 plus x and finally c value is 51 all over 2 at the denominator 
And now on the numerator, we can write that one as uh, 2 times uh, 51 plus uh, x uh, divided by 2. And we can see now this uh, 2 and 2 is uh, gone. So therefore, uh, our s value turns out to be 51 uh, plus uh, x. So thus our s value turns out to be 51 uh, plus x. And our radius r is uh, 15. And we are going to substitute these values uh, in this uh, equation. So therefore, the area of this triangle uh, a, B, C is going to be our radius uh, is 15 times uh, our S value is uh, 51 plus uh, X. Let me call this our equation uh, number 1. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, X. And now let's recall the Heron's formula. According to this formula, we can calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC and area equals to square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where our uh, semi perimeter S equals to A plus B plus C divided by 2 and as you can see we already figured out our S value as uh, 51 plus X. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. We got S value as uh, 51 plus X a value as 26 uh, plus x, b value as 25 plus x, and finally our c value as uh, 51. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have uh, substituted all these s, uh, a, b, and uh, c value over here. If I take care of this one, this is going to give us 51 plus x, this become negative 26 uh, minus uh, x and here x at negative x uh, is gone. 51 minus 26 is going to give us uh, 25. So therefore this whole thing uh, reduces to 25. Likewise let's take care of this uh, next part. I can write 51 plus x. So this become negative 25 minus x. This negative x and positive x is gone. So 51 minus uh, 25 is going to give us uh, 26. And finally, in this part, we can see 51, negative 51, they are gone. So we ended up with just simply x. So therefore, our area of this triangle, uh, ABC, turns out to be the square root of uh, 51 plus x times 25 times 26 uh, times x. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And here we are ended off with these uh, equations 1 uh, and equation 2. And now we are going to compare these equations 1 and 2. Since the left hand side uh, represent the area of this same triangle. So we can equate uh, these uh, right hand sides uh, as well. As you can see in this uh, next step I have wrote down this part uh, on the left hand side and this part uh, on the right hand side of this uh, equation. And now let's go ahead and undo this square root by taking a square on both sides on the left hand sides and the right hand sides as well. So therefore the left hand side could be written as 15 square times 51 plus x whole square equals to this square and square root undo each other. So therefore we ended up with the 51 plus x times 25 times 26 times x. And now let's focus on 15 square. 15 square could be written as 5 square times 3 square. 5 square is 25 and then times 3 square is 9. So therefore 15 square is same as 25 times 9. And likewise 51 plus x whole square could be written as 51 plus x times 51 plus x. As you can see in this uh, next step I have uh, tweaked uh, this left hand side as you can see. And the right hand side uh, is uh, same. 
and in this uh, next step I have divided both sides by 25 times uh, 51 uh, plus uh, x and make sure 51 plus x uh, is not equal to 0 and now we can see on the left hand side 25 and 25 is gone 51 plus x and this 51 x uh, is uh, gone as well and likewise on the right hand side 25 and 25 is gone 51 plus x uh, is gone with this uh, 51 plus x now let's go ahead and distribute so we are going to have uh, 4 59 plus 9 x equal to 26 uh, x let's uh, subtract uh, 9 x from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore uh, we got 26 x minus 9 x uh, is going to give us 17 x uh, equals to 459 let's divide both sides by 17 to isolate x so therefore our x value turns out to be 27 units so thus our x value turns out to be 27 and here's our equation one the area of triangle abc equal to 15 times 51 plus x let me go ahead and substitute this uh, x value of 27 uh, over here so therefore uh, the area of this triangle is going to be 15 times uh, 51 uh, plus uh, 27 so therefore if we multiply the right hand side area of this uh, triangle abc is going to be 1170 square units so thus the area of this triangle uh, abc turns out to be 1170 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.